Hello ladies and gentlemen, I know there's only one reason why you're here, you're not here for wrestling, you're here for this lovely little baby right here. And this is my Dell Precision M4600. A little story, I'll try to make it as short as possible because you care more about seeing it than hearing. Now if you've been to my channel before about a computer, it was for the Dell Latitude E6410. I got that last year for $130 off of eBay, very cheap. It works fine. I was very satisfied with it. But before I got that latitude, I got an HP laptop because my original laptop, my very first one that I got, that I was using constantly, that was an Inspron 4600, if I'm pronouncing it properly. Inspire or Inspron, I always pronounce it wrong. It died on me. It was nine years old. I got it semi cheap. I needed it because I was under heavy stress and I needed to do video editing. I worked it to the ground. So what happened was that when it died, I got the HP F004DX. That thing, it works. It has HDMI, had a 500 gig hard drive, it had a webcam, but it was sluggish. If you want to do video editing on that, good luck to you because that damn thing cannot do video editing very well. If you do a 15 to 20 minute video, it takes almost 40 minutes to render. It was that slow and it had two cores. AMD, but it was still sluggish. So this year, I decided I was going to get a new laptop. I was going to give the other one away to someone. That's what I was saying in my previous videos. I was programming it. I got Linux Mint XFCE on it. It works fine. It's just not good for video editing. So the person who got it got it and it works. They're happy with it. For me, I looked a couple of months ago and I found this. I found it on eBay. I found it for a deal about $272. The guy was willing to take an offer lower than what he was originally asking. It was really cool because the guy was also a Linux user. I'm more of a above novice user. Sorry for the noise. Unfortunately, there's been none in my kitchen. But I'm an I'm above novice. I'm not an intermediate, but I'm not a noob. I know how to put Linux on it. I know how to do research if there's a problem. And I do have one problem with the laptop. It is software written, not hardware. All the ports work. The, what is it? The display port works. All the USB works. The card reader works. The screen works. It doesn't come with a webcam, but it does work. Specs. You got a quad core. And it's a 2820QM. I put extra RAM in it because it was 8 gigs. I managed to save enough money to get enough RAM to make it now from 8 to 24 gigs. Which is now showing as 23.5. The hard drive, I actually have two in it. One hard drive is a hybrid drive, a 500 gig. The other one is in an ejector drive. I replaced the D DVD and I put in an ejector in it which has one terabyte drive which the guy I bought it from actually gave me so you now know what this is so let's see it for you, you can see it for yourself I have to change the position of the screen but you'll be able to see it ladies and gentlemen this is Lennox Mint Cinnamon 17 point three now, essentially speaking, it works perfectly fine. Sorry if I'm a little loud. I'm right behind the camera. As you can see, there's the Mint menu. You can see everything here. I don't really have anything on it because, as I said, I got sick and unfortunately, I have left this laptop alone for quite a while. So, here is GIMP. You can see it running. It's a little slow, mainly because the, um, the hybrid drive needs time to really know what you want. And I got a Seagate hybrid drive. Works perfectly fine. I've used it for quite a while, and I've been very satisfied with it. Here is LibreOffice. LibreOffice right, as you can see. Let me see if I can zoom back so you can get a better see of this. I'm sorry if the camera work isn't very good. I thought of actually using simple screen recorder. I have never actually used it, but 
I could probably learn, but I didn't want to really go through all that because this isn't about showing the general software. This is basically about just showing that the laptop can actually run it. And for me personally, the laptop works well when I was using it. Everything works properly. It loads pretty fast. If I had an SSD, it would load incredibly fast. The only problem I have with it is for the for the drivers because I'm currently running the open source drivers. Works fine. But if I want to do something more intensive, I need the proprietary drivers. And unfortunately, I don't know this. Maybe you guys can know and maybe you can leave a suggestion down below. When I use the um, driver manager, it shows me the drivers that are good for this laptop because it does have a Q1000M. I didn't say that earlier, but I did it on purpose. The Q1000M works fine. But when I try to use proprietary drivers when I had used it a couple of months ago, the problem was that I could not change my resolution. My resolution was locked on 1900 by 1080. And I don't want to have it locked like that. I don't know how to change it. I'm going to have to try and do some more research to see if there's a way to do it or I have to go through the terminal and see if I have to reprogram the system to understand that there are multiple options for your resolution because it was locked at 1900 by 1080 and I switched it right back to the open source drivers because at that time I got very sick and once I got sick and I got frustrated I got depressed so I could not mess with this laptop but the laptop does work perfectly fine you can see everything here works fine it's not connected to the internet right now but you can see it's asking for updates here I'll try and zoom in if it can even be seen it's not that clear but you can see that it is looking for updates this laptop is a beautiful laptop it works fine and just if you want to know how much juice you will burn if you go on the battery it's going to be about an hour and a half to two because the Optimus mode in the BIOS has to be disabled. If you have it on, this laptop will act crazy. And I didn't go to the Intel Intel um, graphic card. Well, the Intel, um, I'm sorry, not graphic, but the Intel integrated video card. I didn't go to that. But I had checked it to see how it would act, and it did act screwy when you use the Optimus mode. So you either use Intel or you're going to use the Q 1000M and the Q1000M works fine, the Intel works fine. The only problem I have is just trying to get the proprietary drivers to work and get my resolution to work when I want it. You guys leave a comment below if you know what the hell you need to do about that. But if you ever wanted to know what a position looked like, this is it. This is a Dell position. This isn't a joke. This is a full 8 full 15 inch Dell Precision M4600 2011 it works fine you guys 